Tschüss. What's going on guys, Motopay HD here and I am back with Team of the Week predictions week number 5 and this week is International Week, one of the worst weeks we can possibly have in FIFA because the team weeks are never normally that good. But I can say this week it could be worse for an international week, it's got some decent players in it if the players I have predicted get in there. I have to say if anything seems rushed or any mistakes I do apologise, I woke up very late today, I've been trying to play some of my weekend league games, I'm on course for maybe some top 100 on PC as well. So that is why this may be coming out later than normal. Let's get into the team of the week. As as internationals, the international friendlies I believe do not count towards informs. Maybe they may change some stuff around, maybe one player here or there might get one. But normally international friendlies don't count, mainly Africa Cup of Nations, any sort of um, UEFA Nations League games and any sort of qualifying for the World Cup counts. We'll start off with Mitrovic. He did get two goals and man the match in Serbia's 2-0 win over Montenegro. Now with Kololi, who got two goals and man the match in Kosovo's 3-1 win over Malta. And new starter, he got one goal and man the match in Russia's 2-0 win over Turkey. Next up is a player actually just, I used to enjoy using in previous FIFA's and that's Benzer Bayani. He got one goal and man the match in Algeria's 2-0 win over Benin. Um, Chipper Motin got the only goal in Cameroon's 1-0 win over Malawi. You may see this this week. Just one single goal can get into the team week because EA like to bump the ratings up. And Chipper Motin could be a decent player who may not get an inform for his club this year. Carlos Vela, one of the standout players this week, got two goals and two assists. And also man match in LAFC's 4-2 win over Houston. Now we're on to one of the big guns and that is Virgil van Dijk. One goal and a clean sheet in Netherlands 3-0 win over Germany. This could go to Memphis Depay though who played a solid game. But I feel like EA or want to give it to Van Dijk, who getting centre-backs, getting informed is usually harder than people like Depay, who is smashing up the league on this season. And then we have Sal Nice, I think I may have pronounced that wrong, but he got one goal and also man of the match in Norway's 1-0 win over Slovenia. Popov, two assists and man of the match in Bulgaria's 2-1 win over Cyprus. Next up, we've got some more big players. First up, Eric Bailly, one goal, one assist and also man of the match in Ivory Coast's 4-0 win. Adrissa Gaye, one goal, and also man the match in Senegal's 3-0 win over Sudan. Odian Ikhara, the guy who moved to China after having a lightning season playing for Watford. He got a hat-trick and also man the match in Nigeria's 4-0 win over Libya. So next up, we have a player who, unless you're from Georgia and follow the team, you may not know how to pronounce his name. I believe it might be Kwash Ivili. He, he got two goals and also got man the match in Georgia's 3-0 win over Andorra. Randolph made three saves and kept a clean sheet in Ireland's 0 0 draw with Denmark. Pandev got one goal and two assists and also man the match in Macedonia's, Macedonia, sorry, 4 1 win over Liechtenstein. Now we have Dockle, the Czech Republic player, got two assists and also man the match in his side's 2 1 win over Slovakia. Carlos Fernandez got a hat trick and also man the match in Deportivo's 4 0 win over Elche. Romelu Lukaku got two goals and also man the match in Belgium's 3 1 win over Switzerland. He did only get an 8.1 rating, which is quite low for two goals. So this is a bit on the edge. I feel like he may get chucked in because of the severe lack of high rated players this week. Moving on in now to the final three players of this week's predictions. First up is Marco Anatovic, who scored the only goal in Austria's 1-0 win over Northern Ireland. Bernardo Silva scored a very stunning goal in Portugal's 3-2 win over Poland. Go and check that out if you haven't already. And Koppiner, who got a hat-trick of assists and also man match in Doncaster's 3-2 win over Rochdale and we can be sure to say that is the player who no one wants to pack in their ultimate team of the week packs this week. And that does conclude this week's team of the week predictions week number five. If I did miss anyone or you think someone else should make it in or if I made a mistake anywhere don't forget to leave in the comments below and I'd love to hear you guys suggestions and opinions and if you'd like to see a different opinion please go and check out TVM reviews. He uploads team of the week and reviews every single week. Top quality player, top quality guy as well. Go and check him out. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and I'll speak to you next time. Peace.